Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. We're heading in for what's really the tail end now of the Larry Ray trial. And the one MBD is a uh, uh, Joe Lowe case in Brooklyn is also on hiatus for closing arguments Monday. So both may come to a close at the same time. We'll be there. But today we launch a new feature. Will it be ongoing? I don't know. We're going to call it Yesterday's News Today. These are some of the cases that Inner City Press covered yesterday, and we've gotten them written up right here. Obviously, there was the Larry Ray case in which uh, a, a Cleo Batel... Beletsis? Cleo Beletsis has come up and is a big deal now. You'll, you'll find it today in the live stream. Um, there was an enormous takedown in the Bronx, a drug takedown, U.S. versus Dunn. We caught the tail end in which a man named Rivera was allowed, unlike his co-defendants, to be released because he's the sole care provider for his mother who has dementia. They're part of a gang called the Shooting Boys, and um, it was it, it was very little coverage. In fact, I was the only media in the mag court. So there's that, of course. There's the Egyptian spy named Girgis. Girgis... Uh, wants some delay in his case. He's been charged with being an, an unlicensed uh, lobbyist slash spy for Al Sisi, um, and uh, he wants some more time. So there's that. St. Clair, another UN connection. St. Clair, the man who defrauded the world with a fake cryptocurrency called IgoBit, said he was related to the UN. The UN never disclaimed it, probably made money off it. They sent a couple guys to the trial, and now uh, uh, Mr. St. Clair is saying that. Just because he didn't have consultative status doesn't mean he was with the U.N. And it's true. I blame the U.N. They refused every written question to say, do you disavow this fraudster? And so they're responsible. But see, they just don't care. Because if they can kill 10,000 people in Haiti and not have to pay any money back, why should they care about this one little fraudster uh, going along? We have an interesting case, actually, of, uh, of Dell Computers sued by a transgender person for discrimination. No one's really much covering that, so I'm going to give you the site. Gilbert versus Dell Technologies, 19 CV, 1938. Okay, so we're going to cover the UN as well. The UK has punked out and canceled its 1 p.m. press conference. Bad start, but we've asked for access and we won't stop. To be continued, happy weekend.